this video we will explore the functionality of the internet browser and in that text entry. I'm going to navigate across to the far right category and if need be go up and down so the, the internet browser is shimmering. Press on the cross to start the internet browser. This PSP by default has a local home page. You can see that this is a page we used by one of our clients. And I'm going to go over on the right hand side here to shortcuts that have been set up on this home page and click right hand mouse button, right, click cross to start Google. You can see this is in uh, connecting to the wireless access point and there is Google. You can see that my uh, stylus is over the search box. If I use the arrow keys at this point, you can see that the arrow keys jump around the HTML links or that I can simply use the analog stick and have free navigation around the page. So I'm over the search box there and I'm going to press the cross and that brings me up the text entry screen and here I'm going to do a search for cat so I'm going to go to the navigate around to the first button there and I'm going to press on the try on the square press on the cross key three times so once gets me a two gets me B three gets me C and to accept that I press the right hand top shoulder button that's the clear perspex one and then I'm going to press across once to give me the A and press that perspective bu button again and now I move down to the button which has got T on it and press cross once for the T and press the right hand top shoulder button again to accept it. Now that I have my word if I press on the start the select key then or the start key then that puts that back into Google and if I go down one to Google search and press the cross key again then Google is now doing a search for me. To navigate up and down this page I can use the arrow keys and as you can see I'm jumping up and down the page or if I want to do this a bit more smoothly press on the square key and then using the analog stick I can also move up and down the pages. By just using the arrow keys I can navigate around any links that may be found on the page. If now I use the left shoulder button then that returns me one page and if I press that again up another page. Over on the left hand side here on this home page I've got some links to content local on the same PSP so here I'm going to click on this one you can say it says do you want to run the flash plugin yes I do this is an example of a flash game so I'm going to select the one player just going to go across here and kick off and here you can see this is the multiple choice and by using my arrow my analog stick I can go up and down the questions and I got that one wrong so let's go across and the button at the bottom and click on continue and you can see that the game shoots at goal and on to my next question and let's select that as my answer uh, I've got a right answer and in this game now when I press the cross key I take a shot at goal and I scored goal as my reward for getting it right and I'm going to come back out of that by clicking on the left hand shoulder key 
and let's go down to chapter one here chapter one is an example of a word document that's been saved as HTML file save as web page and here I can navigate up and down the page using the cross keys arrow keys and you see the blue links these are have been linked by this teacher to entries in I believe Wikipedia I think all of them are into Wikipedia and there we go we're now in Wikipedia and I can navigate around on Wikipedia once the page is completed loading I'm just going to bring up the information bar and I'm going to go down on this one and I'm going to adjust my settings and I'm going to change my display mode here to just fit and that will move make the content a bit easier to see on the screen so you can see here I can navigate around and I can read the page for Wikipedia. Now I'm going to press the top left hand shoulder button and that takes me back to my Word document where if I press the square key I can scroll down and continue reading and pursuing the links as I want. Press the left hand shoulder mouse button once more time to come back up and now I'm going to show you another flash game this is from Sums Online, who are one of our partner companies, and they've produced flash games for teaching mathematics at various ages. So let's start with something really simple. How many? Let's go down here and see if we can get the right answer. And then you can see I got the right answer and similar content left hand shoulder button to navigate back out and then finally an example of a multiple choice this was constructed from an excel spreadsheet so if I click on play here here are my questions and my answers so I can progress through these really quickly. This is fully SCORM compliant and can upload the answers to a database. So you could see I could pursue that all the way through. This is the most simplest form. And come back out of that one. And that completes our tour around the browser.